I recently picked up this Doom Guy collectible figure from Gaming Heads, uh, which I guess is in collaboration with the IP Factory. This is the outside of the box, how it originally came, and the inside of the box. It stands about um, 9 inches tall and requires two AAA batteries, which are not included. I do kind of wish that there was a decorative background insert inside the box, but I guess that's not that big of a deal. Um, anyway, Gaming Heads is primarily known for making statues and for being priced on the higher end, but this is their first articulated action figure and by far one of their more affordable items. It's only $39.99 for this figure. And uh, I did pick up an extra one, which will be added as a reward to the, my website soon. So if you'd like a chance to get it, you can start contributing and save up your credits now. Of course, there are plenty of other rewards to choose from as well. Uh, but this is a 360. It's a pretty simple paint job. Not a lot to it. But the, the legs spin 360 degrees. The arms also spin 360 degrees if you move his head out of the way. And then he's got uh, some forearm articulation and the hand moves around as well. And then his head turns from left to right. The top of the head opens to reveal the battery compartment. Um, it's just held there with magnets, but it's pretty well hidden. And with the batteries inside, it plays the E1 M1 hangar theme. So for those who don't know, this product is based on the collectible figures from the 2016 game. Doom, in which there are uh, 26 different figures in total, I believe, that are hidden throughout each level to find and collect. Uh, Gaming Heads currently has two variations available on their website. They have the Doom Guy and the Patriot Guy, although they originally announced three, including the Pink Guy. I'm not sure what happened with that. Uh, but I've been looking forward to this figure for a while, as they often post pre-production and teaser photos and videos on their Facebook group. Um, in addition to sometimes they have giveaways. So if you're interested in checking that out and to see what other products they've got planned, um, I'll include a link in the description. These aren't limited edition or anything, but they did state that once sold out, they probably won't produce anymore. Although I believe whether or not they release additional variations is just a matter of how well they sell overall. So we could be looking forward to uh, hopefully the complete line of 26 figures. That'd be great. Anyway, I really love the figure. It's a great addition to my Doom collection. And that's all I got. Thanks for watching.